In this video, we're going to take a beginning look at collections and generics. And collections are very similar to arrays. They do pretty much the same thing. They store items or things or stuff. That's basically what they both do. And these are, of course, objects. So that's why in this video I want to talk about the differences between a normal array and a collection. Because as I said again, they are very, very similar. Now you will remember that in terms of a normal array, we use these brackets to define the array. And here we're given the array name. And here we, of course, are constructing the array. And you will remember that this is the critical piece right here. We decide the size of the array right here. And in this case, we're going to add three elements. And so we have to add three elements. And this array is going to hold some different types of food for us. Apples, chocolate, and hamburger. Three different types of food. Now, collections, as I said, do the same thing, but there are some notable differences. Now, before we move on, I want to say that Java provides several collections that have already been built for you in java.util. And what does that mean? Well, you don't have to write your own collection. You, you can just use the collections that Java already provides. And as I said, there are many different types of collections. In this video, we're going to talk about the array list collection. And as you can see, I specify array list right here. That's the collection. Again, it's just a class. If you have NetBeans open right now, you could right click on this and you would see it's just a normal class. Now we'll get to this in a minute. This is the generic. We'll talk about this in a second. But again, it's the same thing, right? We have to define a name for it. We have to build it through a constructor. We use the generic again, and we'll talk about that in a second. But here is the key, key, key difference. We do not provide the size. Over here, we are defining the size when we build the array. Over here, we are not. We do not provide an initial size of the collection. Now, what does that mean? That means that this is resizable. We can add elements as we come and go, right? I'm not forced now to add all three of these elements. I can add them when I want. So in this case, I simply added apples and chocolate, and at some point later on, I could add a hamburger. And so that really is the biggest difference. You do not specify size initially as you do in a normal array. And that makes this more dynamic. It makes it more flexible. It makes it resizable. You can add things as you want during runtime. During runtime, you can't do that with a normal array. But during runtime with a collection, you can add and remove actually items as you please. Now, the other thing I want you to notice here is that this is using methods. Take a look at that. We created an object here called food, and now we're using the add method, which comes, by the way, from the array list. That's just a method that's provided. And that's how we're adding elements. Over here, we're using the equal sign to assign the value. So we are not using methods over here. Over here, we're using methods. Now, what does that mean? Well, when you use methods, that adds a little bit of overhead. So actually, a normal array is a little bit more efficient at runtime than a collection. So that begs another question. When should I use a normal array and when should I use a collection? Well, you should use a normal array if you know the size of your array already. So if you know that I only need these three elements and that will never change, by all means use a normal array because it's more efficient. If you're not sure of the size of your array initially, then you should use collections. So that's the basic rule right there. So those are the two big differences. We don't define the size and we're using methods to add the elements. Now let's talk about generics. Generics are actually pretty simple. You'll see these angle brackets right here. In here we specify the data type. And of course I specified a string. What does that mean? That means down here I can only use strings. I can't use an int or a double or a character. You have to use the data type that you specify up here. And that is a generic. That means the rest of these elements that we add have to be a string. And you can specify int up here. You can specify double, any type of type that you want to use. That's the generic. It goes right between these angle brackets. Now I will say this, if you leave this empty and you can, then you can actually use mixed data types down here. So you could use an int, you could use a string. I will say that almost everybody specifies a data type up here. They do not mix and match down here because that's not considered good practice. So you do want to specify the data type up here unless you have a really good reason not to. Okay, I think that is a good start with collections and generics. Now in the next video, we're actually going to code this up and we will actually use the ArrayList collection. So I will see you guys in the next video.